Hey guys, Magnus Robber here, bringing you another Dead Walking Dead character video. This one will be on Grady Memorial Hospital member slash prisoner Joan. Joan is of course female, she is played by Keisha Castle Hughes. She is mid to late 20s and first appeared in Slabtown. Nothing is known about Joan's life before the outbreak, but sometime after it began, she was quote unquote saved by some Atlanta PD officers stationed at Grady Memorial Hospital. There she was forced to work a debt that she could never pay off. She worked as one of Dawn's wards, but a cop named Gorman took advantage of his position and sexually abused and raped Joan. Just before we first see her, Joan tried to escape the Grady Memorial Hospital and was bitten by a walker outside. Before she could get any further, Tanaka and Bello caught her and dragged her back inside the hospital. In Season 5, Joan is first seen being dragged into the hospital by Tanaka and Bello. She is forced down on the bed by Gorman and Dawn, and Dawn tells her her only choice is to chop off her bitten arm or let them do it for her. But Joan says screw you to both Dawn and Gorman. Gorman gets mad, but Dawn sends him away before he can hurt Joan. When Dr. Edward tries to give Joan some anaesthetic, she kicks him away, telling him to go to hell. Joan says she made her choice and instructs Edward to chop her arm off with any without any pain relief. Joan screams as Edward ties a wire around her arm and Joan begs but Dawn just says that we're not going to let you die. Beth then helps to hold her down and Joan tells Dawn she doesn't want to go back as Dawn can't control the cops like Gorman. Dawn though says that she will. Edwards then begins the amputation and Joan screams in pain as he removes her arm. Later, Joan is seen conscious and somewhat recovered from her amputation. Beth mops her room and hums and Joan wakes up and says it's really nice. She goes to go get Edwards, but Joan says not yet. Beth says I'm sorry, but Joan just tells Beth that Dawn can't, can control her cops, but doesn't because it's easier and she's a coward. Beth asks what Gorman did, but Joan doesn't answer and just says it's easier to make a deal with the devil when you're not the one not paying the price. And that's the last we see of Joan alive. Off screen, Joan left her hospital ward and sneaked into Dawn's office, took a pair of scissors and carved fuck you on the ground. She then takes the scissors and cuts open her stitches and of course died from blood loss. Later, Beth finds Joan's body in Dawn's office. Gorman walks into the office and starts feeling up Beth and meanwhile Joan is turning into a walker. Beth smashes a glass on Gorman, causing him to fall into the jaws of Walker Joan, and Walker Joan kills Gorman, and that's some sweet, sweet revenge. Later on, Dawn and Jeffries visit the office, and Joan attacks and kills Jeffries too, before Dawn finally puts her down for good. Her body is then dumped down the elevator shaft. R.I.P. Joan. Joan is a warning sign to Beth, as Beth learns from her that Dawn's biggest flaw is that she just doesn't care about others. Uh, Beth really should have taken that warning sign to heart a bit more. Might have saved her. It's cool that Walker Joan gets revenge on Gorman though. That was a nice bit of irony. Although, I'm seeing as it's in Dawn's office, I'm pretty sure Joan was hoping her Walker would kill Dawn instead. But, I don't imagine she'd be that mad about it. Anyway, tell me your thoughts on Joan, and let's spin the wheel to see who's next. Which character is next? Ooh, let's have a look. Is that Miguel? Is that Miguel? It's Miguel! Finally, we're doing Miguel.